All right, so um, I'm fortifying my border, and then yeah, this is all like reduce ahead of time penalties, and it's like I don't, I don't think I actually have ahead of time penalties for hardly anything anymore because I've been so far behind. <laughs> can actually ally with Peru against Brazil and uh, Bolivia. good portion of my industry is going into my um, air force mm. right now building fighters heavy fighters tactical bombers that's going to help me if i go to war with the states yeah yeah i don't think i'm actually producing any fighters at the moment i actually think i'm producing that much i should probably try and focus on any military stuff I can build. Seven military factories. <laughs> yes, got to up. Was able to up my uh, conscription. That's and, good. And I had a hundred thousand uh, manpower, and it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's a guess. No. That's okay. Now I got twenty other divisions that are being. being trained uh, am I short on anything I'm short nine steel and one aluminum but that's mostly because I'm making boats with my uh, steel okay oh well, Italy is not looking very good right now oh wow no that is yeah. Rome's gone yeah cut in half uh, New England controls Palermo So this war against Ecuador still going on, just no one has actually reached Ecuador yet. Yeah, no one has managed to get to them. Yeah. So Brazil has 37 to 40 divisions, which is okay. troublesome because I don't have, I have 35 divisions, but I don't see any of their divisions. So I go, how bad could it be? Keep in mind they're allied with Bolivia and Venezuela. Yeah, I mean, like, I, like I know Bolivia. I'd end up immediately in a war with them, um, regardless of which of the go to war focuses I end up taking. The go to war with Bolivia or the go to war with Brazil one. But I actually don't like. They have no divisions on my border, so I go like, maybe it's it's possible to get a good swath of land eaten out before they they jump me. Keep in mind, it, it gets to be quite a slugfest when you start hitting the, the jungles. Oh, no, I know. Once it's like, once you're actually there in the jungles, it's like, God, that's a mess. But I'm hoping, like, I can take Rio, I can take, uh, 
I can maybe get to Sao Paulo. I can maybe take some of their bigger cities along the coast. Mm. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure what I should do with this. I'm like I'm tossing it around. Khan has capitulated. No, Bhutan, no. <laughs> I feel like I should try and push down and get like another research slot, but it's like so many things. Italy. <laughs> Ooh, Socialist Italy's capitulated to Canada. Oh. That's. That'll be interesting. Um. France, they're coming for you. France has unfortunately been pushed out of uh, Brittany pretty hard, but yeah, but Spanish uh, Civil War still civil warring. So <laughs> it's another one of those crazy. like, man, this should have been over like a while ago, guys. A long time ago, yeah. I don't even know if it's worth trying to train anybody at this point to, like, run them through training. One more military factory. Yeah, the thing is, like, I have so many different paths that I need to go down to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. well, I have one, two, three. Three for Bolivia. Two, three more for Brazil. Three if I want to get an extra research slot. One, two, three, four, five if I want to get another extra research slot. I'm almost at another research slot now. Yeah. Producing one knit support equipment per day. Uh, so what am I hurting on for iron? Oh, it's because I got four shipyards. That's why I'm hurting for iron. Or for steel. Suddenly I have four shipyards working on boats. That's why. Yeah. my production doing? Am I still doing all right for that? <clears throat> oh, Burgos. Oh, that's in Spain. Tibet is capitulated. Tibet, no. Ooh, Canada's been kicked out of uh, Scotland. Aw. They're still at the bottom there in Sussex. Yeah, I just fear it's like, a, hey, we don't have enough troops to actually support this push. Now that France can turn its entire attention to us, you know. One of those. How's the uh, justification? Are they still justifying against you? Yeah, in June, their justification's done. Mm. It's fine. It's fine. I'm okay with that.
Well, I'll offer you a non-aggression pact. Oh, thank you. There you go. There'll be no war between us. So I'm behind on toad artillery and basically light tanks is what I'm Do hurting have for most. An ability to make factions? That's the thing, I don't know if, like, so I have one basically at the end, if I have broken Brazil, I get an event called the Nature of the Union. Okay. Gets, okay, which gets event, the Nature of the Union. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what that means. Does that mean, like? Hmm. I, I can tell you. looking through mine like I don't uh, yeah it's like I don't know if that means like good or bad or like we create a like, faction we don't create a faction like yeah I get an end of plan unity that might allow me to start a faction um, yeah it's like is that is that what I want is that the thing that I wanted I don't I'm not sure Guristan is capitulated. That's got to be somewhere over in... Oh, yeah, Mongolia is just about... Igurgulstan. Yeah. Oh, Russia. You big, big, fat son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Like, I, um, I, actually, I actually beat Russia as Mongolia. Right. Just with horses, really. <laughs> they got over a hundred divisions in Russia right now. Jeez. Anywhere between no, anywhere between eighty-three and one thirty divisions. That's a lot of fucking divisions. It's a but few. Then, the Commune of France is anywhere between ninety-three and two hundred and fifty-eight divisions. Well, yeah, I think it's like our just our intel is terrible with them, and they have better encryption or something. Yeah, but they got a scrape in the barrel recruitment policy already. <laughs> oh, really? That's <laughs> not the Britain. It's not the best. Jeez. Yeah. Like, and if you look at the D D Danubian Federation, they got anywhere between fifty-seven and one hundred fifty forty-six divisions, but they're only using extensive conscription. Hmm. In comparison, it's like if scrape if. France is using and scraping the barrel. Like they might have a lot of divisions, but they're gonna have a hard time equipping those guys. So yeah. Perhaps yeah. Danubians can actually start pushing back. Yeah. Well, you do end up as pretty strong as uh, as Austria. Um, well, they got good land there. They yeah. Really good land there. And it looks like Canada is making another push into uh, East Anglia. And yeah, they got the Ukraine has invaded Lenark in western Western Scotland. Oh shit! So the Ukraine? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because they're in the uh, they're in Middle Europa with uh, with Germany. So, but how are they doing that invasion? Like, where are they invading? They're coming straight from the Crimea. They're like, <laughs> well, here we go. We're invading from the Crimea. Come, let's hop on a boat. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, That's ballsy is what it is. Yeah. No, they're probably coming across from Ireland, but still, like... Yeah, yeah, it's still, it's... Uh... So, awesome. Middle Africa, which declared war on Portugal for the colonies, at the very start of the game, still at war with Portugal over their colonies. Nice. I like that. Still going. Um, the Ottomans have become Turkey. Okay. 
All right. Got 16 extra divisions now. I don't really think motorized is going to help that much given the nature of South America and massive no, array of jungles, motorized. you know. You're going to have a hard time with motorized divisions out there. Yeah, it's not really... I actually don't even really think, like, tank divisions are going to be worth it at the end of the day, but... Uh, no, it's, it'll be worth it. <laughs> Medium tanks, especially. Yeah, I think I'll probably end up switching them out to medium tanks just to make them a bit. Because uh, it's like it's not about speed here. Like, it's more about like because I just don't. You can't. You can't arrange the speed to happen. You know. Mm -hmm. Like. Okay, so I'm gonna get an extra research slot, and then I'll hit. Ah, uh, they changed their... They're still justifying on me, but now for some reason they're canceled the progress on the justification. Okay. Oh, they're, the action is currently paused because of lack of political power. Interesting. Oh, well, I guess that's not the worst thing. Yeah, so I got a few months to... So I might actually bring my divisions down south and go after Central America like I was originally planned. Yeah, if you can, like, expand anywhere at all, that would be probably pretty helpful at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And then I'll keep my divisions, my other army still up there, just in case. is capitulated. Oh, wow. Uh, India took everything. Oh. <laughs> everything. Kind of useless land, though, but ah. yeah. Okay, they released them as, as uh, a vassal, is what they did. Well, they released half of them as a vassal, and then the nut, that's weird. Ooh, Pacific States of America has joined the Entente. Really? Yeah. Oh, they were part of uh, something else. Yeah, they had their own little thing. Yeah, they had their own faction for a while. Um, now they're part of the Entente. And they invaded. Which is weird. They haven't actually taken their, like, join the Entente focus. Huh. I think Great Britain's going to be pretty screwed here, though. Possibly, yeah. Oh, Canada completed it. So Canada has oh, one of invite Canada the completed. yeah invite the Pacific states to uh, oh Canada, you guys. Hmm. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Uh, so I almost have two full armies at this point.
pretty good, I think. Um, I would like to add... I'd like to finish research on field hospital, because I'd like to add a field hospital into my armies, because I don't really have a whole boatload of manpower, to yeah, be honest with you. Kind of in the same boat, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, like, I have, like, 880,000, and I'm only on limited conscription. But... 880,000 is a lot. I didn't feel like that much compared to... That is a lot. There's a lot to work with there. Yeah, yeah. My manpower's at zero. Oh. Zero! Well, then, I guess, yeah, that's a bit... It's a bit different. My total manpower is uh, a whopping two five hundred thousand. Hmm. Yeah. How do I have this? Oh, right. Because I took that thing of ready, ready for war. Of we're going to go to war with Brazil, so we're going to prepare for it. And it's like, oh, hey, your guys get more troops as a result. Ooh, that's what I need. I need to get rid of the. Security minister, he's killing my approval population. Oh, do I have anybody that's terrible? Just... I don't think I have anybody who's terrible at the moment. I most definitely do. Oh my god, I finally had it's like, hey, that's a, that's a noise I don't recognize, and it's like, oh. You have a free, uh, you have a free military factory. Huh? Oh, no way. Really? Improved artillery, that's nice. We're at 41 right now, right? So... Yeah. There's been a lot more, like, messing around. You have to really prep, get yourself all sorted. Yeah, yeah. In for sure one. I just finally got my fourth um, research slot London and Canadian hands United Kingdom may very soon exist okay. yeah I, I, I just got my fourth one as well and it's like still haven't gone down any of the freaking uh, military trees to get like bonus research stuff it's just like try to exist as you are. Mind syndicalists are still not um, having their thing going, their folk, or their whatever it is. Mm. Um, it's not going because their uh, political power is too low. Okay. Yeah, I suspect probably. Um... Like, if you got a bunch of shit for taking one area, like, for one little bit of the U.S., mm. like, I think they have to... Well, if you look, they have a whole tree of reconstructing America. Mm -hmm. So... I'm wondering if a lot of that is like, hey, you get negative events until you rebuild America. You know? Yeah. It's 
something like that, maybe. Right. So I finished that. I'm gonna go field hospital two, and I'm gonna put a field hospital in my infantry divisions. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I have to have motorized in order to get a field hospital. Okay. Yeah, you do. Did not know that. with letting this entente smash the crap out of Europe for me. Yeah, it's like, eh, I don't... I'm not actually going to mind that one that much. Yeah, so that when I do go to war with Entente, they're all... Busy elsewhere. Yeah. Or they've already oh. burned through all their manpower or something like that, you know? Exactly. That's the big one. Let them burn through their manpower and I'll worry about them when they're done. Problem is, I just don't have the production to be able to. So your issue is production. My issue is manpower. Yeah, no, mine's absolutely like I don't genuinely don't have the stuff to like the, the factories to be able to produce anything of meaning of value. How does license production work? Um, like if I request a license production to you, what does that do? I don't know. Um, what is this? Hey, Claire, sorry. I'm gonna try and request license production. Oh, okay. So I can request. Like, I can request a, like, hey, can I get some, like, the ability to produce, like, your rocket, like, you have rocket artillery, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, so I can request. Well, I'm going to try and request your light tanks, because I, or, are you working on medium tanks? Um, I... I'm working on medium tanks. I just started, though, so I got 140-something days. Well, when you start working on... Let me know when you've done research on medium tanks, because then I'm going to request them from you. Okay. And I think it's like, hey, I'm going to request this design so that I can build it... Right. ...in my own country. Right. Rather than, like, hey, I'm requesting the actual thing straight up. 
Maybe. Yeah. Well, that's why I hope it is, because that's what I want to do. I just want to build them, and I don't have that research yet. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's what it's used for. It's like, hey, I'm going to request the license to produce, like, your two-gun two <gasps> or something. Son of a 